Phase 2. Testnet. The Pi Core team has provided frequent updates leading up to Pi Network's first year anniversary. Pi Network launched on March 14, 2019. In Phase 1, the purpose was to establish the distribution of Pi and to create a network of people from all over the world to collectively allow Pi to become the most widely used cryptocurrency in the world. Today, it is held by people in over 170 plus countries worldwide. In order for it to be the most used cryptocurrency, many people must first have it. The next step is to build Pi's economy so that people can use it. Everything that has taken place thus far needed to happen in the order it has happened. Pi Network's developers acquired the Pi.app domain from a pioneer to develop Pi's applications platform, a platform capable of integrating many apps within it that serve many different functions to enhance our lives. Phase 2 has different steps within it, building the value for Pi, which can only be done by having Pi being backed by real utility for other pioneers. This will require a myriad of applications that are designated to serve some type of purpose for our lives. Pi becomes the medium of exchange that fuels the transactions within the applications platform that Pi Network is developing so that real value can be built within Pi's economy. This has to be done where scalability is possible. That can't be done though without the proper design. The core team will provide the platform. However, we as a collective must also help to build it. The platform will be able to be categorized by region, language, or by the services that are offered. E-commerce, logistics, gaming, real estate, games, supply chains, and financial services. The transactions that take place with Pi will need to be structured, especially in regard to scaling a design that's capable of world application. The Pi platform has two features, Pi apps and Pi payments. Pi payments is a feature that will be external where third parties can allow payments to be made in Pi on their separate platform for their goods or services that they offer. By offering QR codes, local retailers can accept Pi payments. Pay with Pi will be integrated as an icon that can be facilitated in the future for online mobile payments for a variety of apps that hold goods and services within the Pi platform. Pi's ecosystem has to be very diverse. It must offer scalability, security, and trust for the entire community. In order to offer security, the selection of apps that will be integrated onto the app's platform for Pi must be vetted by the community as well as be peer reviewed to establish the quality and trust Pi will require in order for it to be successful. In the beginning of phase two, these apps will be in development. The apps that third parties can create onto the Pi platform after passing the application process is being expected to roll out at the end of quarter two, 2020. That would be around June of 2020. The in-app transfer pilot had some users unfortunately abusing the Pi by exchanging it directly for fiat currency where no goods or services were acquired for Pi. This only reaffirmed to the core team that systems and processes must be in place that are structured to facilitate proper transactions using Pi where real value is built by real utility from real pioneers. Safeguards must be created to protect Pi consumers from such individuals seeking to exploit other pioneers. This has provided more clarity to the core team to create checks and balances 
where a pioneer must establish that the person can be trusted in order to participate more within Pi's economy. Know Your Customer will be granted to many more pioneers after Pi's first year anniversary. However, it will no longer mean automatic access to in-app transfers, where that pioneer can also transact with the Pi. That is a separate process that must be granted by the core team to the pioneer. Passing KYC, though, is still important for other features Pi Network will integrate, such as Pi nodes, a main feature of Phase 2. It will also be a required step in order to eventually be able to transact with Pi, the Pi that you've been accumulating over the past year. It increases your odds, though, of being selected by the core team of Pi Network, as it shows you are a real person who can be trusted to a certain degree. The amount of pioneers that will be offered in-app transfers where they can use their Pi to pay for goods or services will scale as the apps within the Pi Apps platform also scales, allowing for more transactions to be facilitated with Pi over time. The trust of those within the Pi economy must be meticulously filtered to offer more security within the platform for all those within it. Once you pass KYC, you will be able to run certain versions of Pi nodes for the testnet. Remember, only Pi nodes within the testnet will be able to transfer over to the mainnet, which is in phase 3. Pi has recently purchased a Philips dry shaver for a pioneer somewhere in the world with the ability to pay with Pi last week. Real value, real utility for the person who now owns it. Phase 2 has now begun and KYC will soon be offered to thousands all around the world. Pi nodes will begin on March 31, 2020. The first pioneers to establish them will be the most trusted pioneers within Pi's economy. The pioneers that will ensure transactions do take place with Pi for goods and services to ensure the Pi nodes work as intended. The criteria for selection will be released in the near future. However, I am certain that the core team pays attention to those within the platform that offer real value to other pioneers through their knowledge in various fields prior to Pi Network that can help bring its vision to life. There is a filter that allows them to see the most upvoted messages, and I am sure they review as well as discuss them in their panel of now eight core team members. If you want to create real impact, you have to be willing to put in real time, energy, thought, and resources to bring forth a better future. One person can do this alone, but this type of endeavor will require a movement of real pioneers all over the world collectively pushing Pi Network forward by helping to build the platform with the resources or skill sets they will offer in exchange for Pi to other pioneers. As we do this for one another, there will be no question in regard to the value that Pi can bring. What can you do to possibly be selected as a pioneer with access to establish a Pi node? That is the fourth role, the Pi node. You need to build trust within the community. You can do this by staying active daily in Pi communities as well as the Pi Network app platform, daily engaging with many pioneers in regard to the relevance of Pi. Instead of pushing what Pi cannot do, start stating what it has done and what it will do soon. It's the same message, only the other side of the crypto coin. Seek out other pioneers who are also making things happen for Pi Network. The Pi Network Market Discord 
has a few contests going on at this point in time. There is a Pi wager for when Pi Network will hit 10 million engaged pioneers. It costs 10 Pi and you must be approved and qualified for IAT or have a moderator willing to vouch for you that has been KYC verified. The person closest to the date without going beyond the date will be the winner and those participating have up to 48 hours to transfer the Pi to that pioneer. There are a few more requirements, so be sure to check out Pi Network Market. They also have an Instagram page at Pi Network Market. It has pictures of many items that have already been sold for Pi. It's led and managed by Arion, Farhad, and Princess Pi. It also holds Pi auctions for a variety of goods. It's a great opportunity to meet other pioneers that are very involved with Pi Network. If you are interested in Pi Network and want to follow a Pi community led group that inspires pioneers, check out PITGCC on Instagram. There are hundreds of quotes from pioneers around the world that believe in Pi. The collective PITGCC that I am a part of will be releasing the Pi that will be rewarded to the winners that have been selected for our free Pi raffle giveaway for those who participated in celebration of Pi Network's first year anniversary. We have me- held many raffle giveaways in the past, and if you want to enter in such raffles, simply join our Discord. You can find the link to the Discord on our Twitter at PITGCC for the latest news and updates with Pi. CryptoZealots, another organization, has released a Pi First Anniversary t-shirt. If you'd like to have one, you can purchase it on Amazon for the USA or Europe. They also have other Pi t-shirt designs as well. I was told in the future their t-shirts will be able to be purchased with Pi. So that's kind of exciting to know too. For those of us that want to support, that we are supporting Pi Network. The Pi.club is also building a great community of pioneers, and they release new articles on Pi's development to offer more clarity to others that seek more information. Be sure to check them out and sign up as the platform offers a wealth of information to those wanting to be more involved. Due to the coronavirus, and the precautions recommended, Pi Network gatherings to celebrate Pi have not been recommended this year. However, Pi Network's core team released a video recently of pioneers from all around the world celebrating Pi Network's first year of development. Pi Network's value for Pi will draw its demand not from the supply of the Pi available worldwide, but from the limited supply initially from the goods and services offered for Pi. This is why it's extremely important that you start connecting with other pioneers who support Pi and value it. These are the people that will allow Pi to become everything it's being designed to be, as they will participate and stay engaged with the community to help offer the utility other pioneers require in their lives to establish the value Pi will hold to all those who possess it in the future. Remember, hope shines the brightest in our darkest hour. Pi has millions of people already supporting its vision, and millions more are coming. To contribute to the podcast, you can do so by being a sponsor or by making a donation, even a Pi donation. If you'd like to learn more about Pi, stay connected as I go deeper into what Pi is, what Pi is doing, and how it can help you, as well as many others. Until next time, stay mining and stay smiling. I am the Crypto Legend. Happy Pi Day.